Um, one thing that shocked me was hearing from some administrators in Denmark where they have one teacher in a room with 12 kids, social distancing. Then the room next door, there's another 12 kids watching the teacher on a big screen spread out. And then in the third room, another set of 12 students. So the teacher has 36 students, but she or he is only monitoring 12. My question was, well, how do you make sure they behave in the other room? I mean, there's no supervision. And the headmaster and the principal said, well, it's easy in Denmark. We just tell the kids what to do and they just do it. There's no conversation. That kind of took us all aback and we asked about the protocols. What about washing hands? Yep, we expect every student to wash hands as soon as they enter the building. So my next question is, do you have stations? Do you have people washing? And they kind of laughed and said, it's different in Denmark. We just tell them what the expectations are and they just go and do it. There's no more conversation to be had. They're just compliant. And knowing that wouldn't you know, work in the United States, um, we have to think of what protocols we, you know, we would need to have in place if we're going to expect students to wash their hands and we need to ensure that's taking place. 